to make. And you've heard of uh, veal cordon bleu, chicken cordon bleu. We're going to make a combo. Veal chicken cordon bleu. And we're going to use, in the back burner, you have a half of, uh, one cup of tomato sauce and one cup of chicken velouté. That's warm for later. I'm using fresh basil leaves, uh, mushrooms, yellow pearl onions, garlic, panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to put shredded sharp cheddar cheese inside. And the mushrooms I cut scallope, which is on an angle like this. This is just for looks. Turn it, and then again like this. So you get that nice looking, instead of just plain sliced. So first we're gonna pound the veal, pound the chicken, put a piece of veal and chicken together with the basil inside, cheddar cheese inside, bread it. Saute it gently in olive oil. And that's it. So it'll take a little while, because first you have to pound it. So let's get started. First thing we'll do is uh, pound the veal. Put a little oil on the veal. And the chicken. It'll keep it from really sticking to the uh, saran wrap. So I'm going to pound one piece. And then you will pound all those pieces just fold the saran wrap over it and make sure you leave enough room over here because it's an expand so you don't want to pull it all the way so that should do it and then take a mallet and We're not going to make it as thin as a veal paillard, but we're going to get it just a little bit more. Like so. And I'm going to do the same thing with the chicken. Even out the chicken and have them the same size. So, man, after you do this to all of them, let's put a little sea salt and some cracked pepper on all the pieces make them all and then we'll continue so first we are going to make the, the sandwich there's two pieces of veal and two pieces of chicken they've been pounded so what we're going to place in between is the cheese. I'm using some sharp cheddar, cheddar. And it's going to ooze out so you don't want to go all the way to the edge. You put it like so. Hopefully it'll stay in there. Then you take a piece of chicken and go like so. So now we have the chicken and veal cordon bleu. And we're going to, now the hard part is just to handle this stuff, which is a real pain because it's two pieces. So you want to take them, now you have to use your fingers. You want to put them in flour, nice and easy. Dust them off, not too heavy. In the eggs. And after the eggs, into the panko breadcrumbs, which 
If you want, you can also put some parsley in there. Now I clean my hands. Because there's one thing you don't want when you're breading something is to have eggs on your hands when you're going into the breadcrumbs. Then your fingers become something breaded. So we just shake it, bring up the breadcrumbs. Now when you pick it up, turn it over. Your fingers are still clean. That's what you're looking for. So do this. You can turn it again and make sure you got plenty of breadcrumbs. Do this to all of it and then we'll go about cooking them. Now I'm going to attempt. Let's hope that uh, we get both items done at the same time. This pan is for the vegetable, the onions and the mushroom and the garlic and this is for the veal. So nice olive oil. Don't be cheap because when you use panko breadcrumbs they absorb a lot. And then the same saute the vegetables over there. Moderate flame not too high because we want to cook this through we're not using the oven and now I'm going to shoot myself because I forgot something so let me go back a step it's not a big deal that I forgot the step it just makes it a little more difficult so just take it back like that and of course what are we going to do with the fresh basil we are going to completely cover the inside with fresh basil leaves then when you cut into it, not only do you see the nice green, you'll also taste it. And then we'll just put the lid back on exactly where it was. Hopefully that won't disturb the finished product. Hopefully. So that's what happens when you're in a rush. Everything is sitting in front of me and I still forget it. Maybe it's my age. Okay. All fixed. Now we'll continue. So we're getting this preheated. And the vegetables over here, same thing. I'm going to put the vegetables right into the pan. The garlic, onions, and mushrooms. I'm going to take my mixture of sea salt and pepper, sprinkle it all over that. Now place the veal, the veal chicken cordon bleu, right there. And this will cook nice and easy on both sides. Nice golden brown color, nice and crisp with the panko breadcrumbs, which I love. And then we're going to put on the bottom, when we're done, a little of the half tomato sauce and half chicken velouté and on top we'll cover it with the vegetables it should look very pretty so all you have to do now on a moderate flame is check the veal when you see it golden brown on the bottom gently take a spatula and turn it over Maybe you have to hold it with your other with your hand on here as you turn it so it doesn't fall apart. So do that and meanwhile the onions and the mushrooms they'll be cooking here. They'll get the onions will get some color. And I expect both items 
to be done at the same time. So what you need is color on this, and we're going to get that color. High flame. It's a good combination. These little that's yellow pearl onions. They look white, but they were yellow because the skin was yellow. And then we're back over to here. We'll just take a peek. The color is coming, but not yet. So that's good. After I turn it over, I'm also going to put a lid on it, which will ensure that everything is cooked. It won't be soggy. And, the, and this is getting nice color. So think, I think things should be ready together. Now this will be done before the veal. And chicken cordon bleu. This is a fast sizzle, you can hear that. Where this is on a very slow sizzle. Just to make sure it gets cooked throughout. It's still going slow, nice. Now the onions and the mushrooms. This is not on the menu, but I'm going to put some white wine in there. Because I like the flavor. So now we're going to check this. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Very good. Nice and slow, golden brown. And this, just about done. That white wine kind of got in there and steamed it. Plus it put flavor in there. So I'll just lower the flame on that because now we have to wait for the veal. The cheese is melted. That's a good thing. All right. Another maybe five minutes. You know I'm pathetic. A veal cordon bleu has cheese in it. What happened? So now I'm going to separate this and I still can save this recipe. A nice thick slice of ham. Now it's cordon bleu. And this one the same thing. And there I see the nice and rare on the uh, veal, so like I said, we're going to cover it, and this will ensure the cooking throughout. I'll give it another five minutes like I said. Well, that's what happens when you're in a rush, but I saved the day because it's still veal cordon bleu now. And this, this is ready. So we'll just keep this warm. And wait. Well, 10 minutes later, we're finished. Hasn't fallen apart. So let me set up the plate. Put a nice ladle of sauce right there. I always like a lot of sauce. Not like restaurants give you very little. Take the veal, the veal chicken cordon bleu, like so, and then we're going to top it off. With the veggies, and just let them flow any way they do. How's that? Now I have to take a picture from my website and then I'm going to cut into it and we'll take a look at it. So now I'm going to cut it dead center. I'm going to get the green. The cheese is oozing out.
a little hot. Mmm. That is really good. I'm gonna enjoy this. I hope you do. Mm.